My name is Taylor, and I'm a 12th grader at Exeter West Greenwich High School in Rhode Island. I'm very active on the internet, therefore I've had the misfortune of running into some real jerks. You know, those guys who are always trying to one-up you by debating. They try to sound all fancy and cute by saying things like, I was amused by your comment, and addressing you as, Sir. They won't stop trying to engage you in an argument, and if you're like me, you've had it up to here with this nonsense. But there are ways of dealing with these kinds of people that I have learned the hard way, which I am more than happy to share with you. You might be under the impression that they're like the lord of the comments section, but chances are they're just so disgruntled over the fact that they live in their parents' basement that they take it out on others. If one of these people tries to make a fool of you, don't engage, because that's exactly what they want. Besides, they're not worth your time. Engaging will make you seem as low as they are. Arguing over the internet can be addicting for some. Believe me, I struggled with that. But then I realized that the things I argued and broiled over, like gay marriage for example, had nothing to do with me, so why should I care? If you really do have a strong opinion that just itches to be heard, open a blank document and type out all your frustrations until you either tire out or get distracted by something else. Later, you can just close out without saving it. No one has to see it but you. But it's always a great idea to make an attempt at avoiding the forums and threads where this is taking place. Besides, Despite what they want you to think, just know that the fact that they would rather spend their time arguing with strangers does not indicate maturity. If you've ever read through an online debate, you can see that the whole conversation just repeats itself in a cycle before someone gets bored and quits. I'm willing to bet that the vast majority of debates have no winners because everyone is too stubborn to admit defeat, or that they're wrong. It never accomplishes anything. It makes no difference from, for whatever matter is at hand. It's not worth your time.